bagging uh, of the Mountain Warehouse. Summit 300, I'd call this a uh, yeah, three slash four season, I guess. At minus two comfort rating, and then again minus 18 for extreme. 1.7 kilos. I like the size and lightness of it, but uh, it actually seems small and light for a bag that's better in the cold. Now I wouldn't say extreme cold, but I guess it depends where you're from. I'm from Ottawa, and uh, you're in Canada. I don't know. I think we get it pretty cold. Ottawa is one of the colder capitals. I like so far the uh, texture of the material on the uh, on the stuff stack. Feels like um, tent material, I guess. I'm assuming it's water resistant. Just chuck that on the floor. Got our tags, prices. We got uh, no actual cover on the top part of the stuff sack. So like a traditional stuff sack I'm used to has a cap on it that you can tighten down. So with this one, I think I'm gonna fire it later in a um, garbage bag and flip that upside down just to give it more water resistance. I'll probably scotch guard this, although I probably don't need to. I just scotch guard a lot of stuff. I'm gonna flip the handle out of the way. I get a shot of my feet here too, so I can get in here see what we can open up. Now right now, the, uh, the compression strap isn't really that tightened down. Um, this like is a longer one that goes over top as a handle. I think you can just undo that and I'm just going to pull it out of the side to make it easier later um, to rebag everything. So what I want to do is stuff stuff in instead of rolling it tightly, which normally what I would do. I'll undo the top here. And there were a couple color choices depending on when you're looking at this. They seem to go on sale. I think this is around 90 bucks normally. This one's on sale for 49. But it, when I went to look at it at first, there were a few color choices. And then the next time I went to look at it, this is the only one that was on sale, and the other ones were full price. You have left, right zipper, so you can zip up two of them together. Apparently, yeah. Um, I guess this is like uh, so it's one. 50 mil something hollow fill. I don't know what that means. The Summit uh, 250, which is like almost the exact same bag, slightly different dimensions, but same color choices and pattern. It was like a 125 and only good to minus one. I'm just going to reach back here and pull on the sack. So, stuff sack away, put that beside me, get the full bag. Um, it's interesting because it really sucks up a lot of air as soon as you open it out. And, uh, poofs up more than I thought it was going to. We'll flip that down that way. Nice and long. Got your hood here. I like the materials nice and soft. There's a little velcro piece here at the zipper just to stop that from flapping around. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop this into a bibby sack and put a cotton liner inside, but that should help with the waterproofing because there's no actual flap over the zipper that I can tell. So if this is water resistant, you could still get some leaking in here. Um, let's pull out the inside here. Material feels nice, kind of like any other sleeping bag or one of the cheaper duvet types. This is hollow fill fiber. You got your tightening drawstring seems okay and tucked away for the, uh, the neck piece. Um, oh, we do have a flap on the inside. I spoke too soon, I guess. Um, maybe wouldn't make it waterproof, but definitely you got some little layers that'll flip over to stop the draft anyway. Unzips pretty smooth. Doesn't catch on anything when I zip, so that's good. Sometimes things hang out and then it snaps. Decent color, logo's in a nice spot. Where's that secondary drawstring? It's always the hunt. Oh, it's on the same side as the first one. So opposite the zipping side. Um, I got the left zip on this one. I don't know. Feels good. A lot lighter than a bigger bag I was looking at from uh, Ozark. So far I've been happy with Mountain Hardware stuff. I've seen some reviews where people weren't happy. Um, I'll just sleep in it to give you some more feedback. But right now, seems pretty decent. Um, I think I like square bottom bags more, but I haven't actually used a decent mummy. I'll give this a go. See how it is. I'm expecting, my guess, the overnights in a week or two will be about a anywhere from minus 6 to minus 10. Um, see how that goes with this. I have poly cotton liner, kind of like so. Eh, and uh, one of those bivy sacks all from the same spot. Again, 
Got it on sale for 49. A couple of different color choices. Watch that when you're loading it into the cart. Um, but this is the Summit 300. I think for 10 bucks, I was kind of gambling on the fact that there's more fill. It's slightly uh, or, uh, warmer. Um, and I'd rather have that. And getting it on sale wasn't really an extra 10 bucks for one degree. But I don't know if the 250 versus the 300 is worth the one degree uh, temperature difference. But for sure, the size, when I looked on the dimensions, um, a little bit wider at the bottom, and I'm a bigger dude. So there's a Summit 300 from Mountain Warehouse. <laughs>